episode of Tuesday Night Smackdown, and it's the thousand episode number seven. Yeah, and I mean, for a very it? short, for a very short Smackdown, what do you think? I mean, it's crazy. It was all right. It was okay. Ray Mysterio. He's got a lot of uh, returns, like Mysterio and was he um, officially Vicky be back? Guerrero and uh, John Laurinaitis and Teddy Long and Cutting Edge, Undertaker yeah. and Evolution. It was crazy. It was awesome. Yeah. Um. Of course, started off SmackDown with Truth TV. He just starts off, of course. Being the clown that he is. Yeah, with the beam, with the dance off and all that. He's trying to just dance. Then, like, the, then the McMahon showed up. Yep. Stephanie and then and then Shane and then Vince and of course they're coming and talking and But talking. the best, yeah, but the best highlight was Vince doing the dance off. Oh, oh man. Yeah, that was that was, it was dance wild. break and it was Vince was dancing. It's like what? Seventy-something-year-old man dancing, it's like, huh? But yeah, and they're just talking about how SmackDown and about being the thousand episode and all that. So, um, oh, and how they're proud. But the first match of the night was AJ Styles and Dan Bryan came out first to go against the Usos. I. Th I think they wanted to put AJ Styles and Dana Bryan together because they're going to be facing each other. Let's see how yeah. they can call a hit. Bill, Bill, yeah, get them butt heads. But of course, the Usos won and made AJ Styles and Dana Bryan look at each other. Like, yeah, tensions are high. Yeah, so. AJ, and he, AJ Styles was really pissed. He was like saying stuff to him. And, yeah, like, oof. Like, I mean, but then again, there's Daniel, not a real, there's not a lot of real conflict with them. They're both Daniel good Bryan, guys. Daniel Bryan is the one that got pinned, so it was like, eh. yeah. I mean, like, if I out of Styles and Daniel Bryan, um, yeah, but how did they get pinned? Um, how did they get pinned? I think. I mean, how could they lose to the Usos? I think I seen them do a little for some kind of move he did on, on Dan Bryan. Um, but, um, I would say it's Tyler O'Brien, probably. Brian. I probably would say Dan Bryan. I mean, I like Styles. But Styles has been But he's champion been champion for, for a long time. Time for a change. I mean, they probably didn't want Samoa Joe taking it from him. Probably. Because Samoa Joe, remember, Daniel Bryan's weakness is the neck injury. And Samoa Joe does the coquina clutch. What would happen if you faced Daniel Bryan and Daniel Bryan got choked out? Yeah. And then, of course, that there's a little segment, um, Evolution, of a clutch by Batista. Uh, no. Not Batista. Not Batista. Drax. And he came and out Mark. wearing a Star Lord looking coat. Isn't that funny? And of course, they all talked, had the little evolution moment, and trip down and, memory lane, and whatnot. Of course, talking about everything, being you know, a fun game. Of course, but then all... again, Ra but then Randy started almost interrupting the moment by just making it all about himself. Yeah, and then when Batista started talking, and he talked. Yeah, about being in his hometown, and yeah, he missed being in wrestling. And Ric yeah. Flair, woo, yeah, yeah, yeah woo. Yeah. And telling Ric Flair to keep it in his pants. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay. No, then, just imagine that. And then yeah. setting up possibly. Yikes. And then it set it up a possible match, future match between Triple H and Batista. Yeah, and um, yeah, because Triple H and Batista looked like they were going to go at it. And then all of a sudden Ric Flair was like, and then. Hugging it out. Just yeah. hugging it out. But, 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 but that would be a good thing. But it was nice also cool about SmackDown. One, they were showing old pictures of what happened on SmackDown with Eddie Guerrero. Yeah, Eddie Guerrero. Eddie well, Eddie Guerrero and Batista used to be tag team partners. Yeah, I didn't 
think I, yeah. I think I remember something like that because in one of the episodes, Batista was out back and they were supposed to be facing Eminem and Melina was out back trying to convince Batista to go easy on her team and basically seduced them off camera. Look like they had a little moment. And then she's like, I'm so. I've seen it, clips of it. Yeah, but he still killed them. But, yeah, it was, that was that. And then a second match, Missy, is Russo versus The Miz. And oh my god, that was a quick match. Mizzy Wizzy. Yeah, of course, The Miz won because of Aiden Inglis coming out and just doing like distraction for Russo. So, and then Miz quickly, like, ran out of the ring and clapping him. And goes, it was funny what Lana did. Yeah, Lana's, like, <laughs> looking at him, like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And then just kick him right in the groin. Oh, yeah. We thought he, I thought she was going to smack him. Yeah. but Ball buster. And then she's like, Rusev! Gosh! And she, he's attacking. Yeah. And the angles, and that was that. No. Lana crushed his balls. Yeah. With her boot. And then there was um the cutting edge. Well, before the cutting edge was on, Edge was backstage with I think it was Hawkins. Yeah, Hawkins. It Wait, Kurt Hawkins? Yeah, because he had that losing streak shirt. Yeah, I think like it was Hawkins. He was backstage with Edge, and he was showing things to Edge, and Edge is like, uh, okay, and it ended up being Going a cutting edge next with Becky Lynch and Charlotte. Oh boy, guys, seeing Edge. And he almost, and he looked like Edge. Yeah. Um, of course, kind of, um, Edge was talking, and then, of course, he brings up the SmackDown woman champion Becky Lynch first, and then... He tries to be the voice of reason, yeah, trying to get her back voice. to being... He's a, trying to, like, don't, like, lose your friends over yeah. titles. But then she's being all, still being like that, and she's like... You're being a bitch. It's kind of went to her head. It's like being a champion got to her head. Like, um... Disrespecting Edge. She's like, why don't you... I don't just like myself. I love myself. And then told him to get out of her ring. And blood not and say, don't hurt yourself. Hurt your neck. Hurt your neck, like before, through the ropes. Then Charlotte showed then Charlotte up. Charlotte came out and she's like, Edge. Um... Becky... It's not the same ever since that title. That's all she thinks about is the title. Yep. Like what happened last week, what she did to her, and this and that. And said one thing. The one thing I gotta say, and just like, attacked her. Attacked her, and they've been attacking, and then security's just trying to break them pe- them, them up. And then yeah, just... don't, want to throw, uh, don't want them to end up going through another thing. Nope. What yeah. is they gonna go through now? A table? Under Audience? the ring? They're probably gonna have like a... Under the ring where Hornswoggle dwells? They're probably going to have a false Count Anywhere match or something like that for that. No! If it's going to be an evolution, it should be big. It should be loud. It should be false Count Anywhere. But it should be a backstage brawl. Yeah, that fault that is. Have Charlotte throw her through her limousine. <laughs> yep, take it to the streets. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, you got next match, um... Na 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 new day, Floppy Jacks, first the bar. Oh, for the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Yay, Flappy Jacks! And wow, that match we did not see the, that ending coming. We didn't see the ending coming of that match. I mean, that match was going good and good and good and good, and then Kofi Kingston, and all of a sudden here comes the Big Show. And he choke slams him through the table, right? Yep, through the announce table and making Biggie be like, what? Turns around, bro kick. And now the bar is the new SmackDown I mean, Tag Team Champs. A lot of pancakes. Yep, throw him to make It's disgusting because he's pulling it out of his underwear, pretty much. Yeah, it's it disgusting. Was, what, yeah. God, so pull it, why don't they just pull it out of his butt? That'd be even twice as sick thing. I kind of actually think he did, didn't I? Play the gigs? I think he did. Ugh. That was gross. What's I worse was, is that it's I'm kind of happy the bar has the titles, didn't be honest with you. No, the worst thing is 
that entrance where Biggie's throwing pancakes at people. It's in your two K, mm-hmm. your new two K game. Yeah. Oh my God. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't remember which one he did it over, but he did it over. I believe it was Seamus. He freaking well tartar sauce. He did it maneuver in his between his legs and <laughs> look. And all you could you could see, I believe it was Seamus. Look straight up, and you can see him doing that maneuver. How he does that. Oh, Ooh, that was disgusting. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure it was Seamus. Yeah, probably. Basically, was. what you practice every night, Missy, with your stuffed uh, teddy bear. Ew, that's <laughs> disgusting. You say you mm. say it like that means you did it. Ew. But, but like how you defend it. Okay, Ugh. and then you got the main event and a return of Justin. Buyaka Buyaka six one nine. Yeah, verse. Nakamura. Do it, Missy. Yeah, <laughs> which I was excited. Which is what well, I was excited. What was it? The, we only watched what Lucha Underground one episode of Lucha. Yeah, he was wrestling there. I mean, oh, oh, was his name Rey Mysterio? Or what was it in there? I think it was Rey Mysterio. I'm not really sure. We only watched it one time. But after, but after that one look, it feels like ECW, but. Uh. But more lucha. But that match, that match was for the World Cup qualifying tournament match. Of course, we know who was going to win that match. But it was still entertaining. But yeah, it was good. It shows that Rey Mysterio can still fight like always. In a WWE ring. He still got it. Let's just hope that Rey Mysterio does not get busted for steroids a fourth time. Yeah. But since he beat Nakamura, he gets a title shot. Yeah, the United States title. Because they beat him. I so. think... Was Ray the United States champion before? I don't know. It's been so long. Was Ever he? Since... I know he was the big titles. I know... Yeah, he was the big titles. He was tag team. Heavyweight. Yeah. I don't think he was ever... He was a, He was, was a world he champion. Was? Yeah, he was a world heavyweight champion. Did you remember yeah. he lost it to Kane? Yep. Um, I don't see these new belts. Oh, I know, I know he didn't see this new universal. He wasn't here when they made that new belt, so of course he didn't have that thing. No, not the licorice belt. Ugh. Bring back the old belts, please. They're saying, they're saying, you know, Kane's mask, taking Kane's mask from freaking the freaking universal belt because it matches. Oh, well, I would be. That would be fun to see, uh, like some, well, instead of just having their little emblems on the circle sides. Yeah. Make it like the Rated R Superstar belt. Those custom ones, but then again, cost money. Yeah, and then the ending of, uh, after Rims 2 won, the ending, of course, Taker's music comes out and like only... Slows molasses. Uh, only like Let's that. see, it's the last like, minutes of wrestling, so he's got to... Eat up the TV time before. So he's walking his slowness, going in the ring, and all he does, he's getting ready. He's going in the ring. He says, "I only have three words for DX: rest in peace." And that's it. And then, then he just walk. No, and then his he... music hits. Walks back to the thing. Does his little fist in the uh, fist in the air, and that's how SmackDown ends. Slow. Really, he ha- he. They couldn't think of anything else. I don't know. They couldn't have like all of them come out and just stand at the top. You had trip. You had Triple H, but you can't. But there's no Shawn Michaels. That's that's what they should have done at the entrance. They should have had them all come out from backstage and all stand up at the top of the ring at the then, entrance. Yeah, they could have done something at the end for them to. You don't see tri- Undertaker out back. He. Shows up at the entrance, and then once he heads uh, heads out back, he disappears. He's just shadows. So, I mean, what I would have to say about this, that was an episode of SmackDown. I mean, I was at the 900, and then 100 more episodes there. So, uh, was, I mean, st- it was... It's not as good as the 900. Yeah, they had a couple that were still missing. Yeah, there was still a couple... Like, they should, like, like what about Hacksaw Jim Dunn or something like that? I mean, Hacksaw Jim Duncan was never I mean, SmackDown. Uh, He's in the No, I know, but one. I'm just saying they should do something like, like that. I mean... With the next Raw. I thing. mean, they had, like, with the Vicky and J- Teddy Long, and then that was a little moment, but they could have had something more with them. 
Yeah, well, is it, Cold? is it? Well, it, well, Stone Cold probably busy doing something. But then again, he was never SmackDown. He was during Raw. Remember that, Miss A? I know, but they had pictures of him with. Yeah, they had those old pictures, but. You want to know something? You want to know what could have boosted up the ratings, which would have been funnier? The Rock, but he's probably doing a movie. As he always is. <laughs> he's Mr. Yeah, Hollywood. I think the Rock's but then again, we had freaking John Cena just go out and just do his little They should have did a little skit. They should have did a little skit. That's what they really should have done. No, you want to know something would have been funny? Had John Cena showed up yesterday at Raw and be like, you know... Tomorrow's the 1,000th episode of SmackDown. Watch my you remember what happened last time? That, uh, what, 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 you remember what happened last time? You and me were on SmackDown, Kurt? Yeah. I bitch slapped you and to showed you what ruthless aggression is. It would have been awesome to see something happen to John Cena. No. <laughs> you mean JBL Of course, John Jr. Cena, all you know is we're just hanging out a little freaking video. He wasn't there, but he had a little video saying about SmackDown... His debut. His debut was awesome being at SmackDown. He always looked SmackDown yeah. and all that. He can do that, but he can't show up? Yeah. It's pre recorded. Yeah, he probably was doing a movie or something. Yeah, he he's looks probably like JBL Jr. No longer John Cena. It's What's JBL he doing? Get his feet up and relax and drink a cup of cocoa? What See, The we... Rock, I mean, he might as well just stay doing movies. He don't need a big turn because he's just more better doing movies now, so. He always show up during. He should. He always. He, most times he shows up at WrestleMania or something. What? Makes yeah. a surprise appearance. So, yeah, that was um, that was SmackDown Live. So it what, was interesting. So it was interesting. Um, tell us how you felt. Yeah. What did you like about it? And would you like to see other wrestlers or should have showed up? Who would you want to like ever see return? The hurricane. Yeah. Got like wrestlers. Well, remember how who would remember back in the day? We have to remember what superstars were on SmackDown. Yeah. Should we? You know, something would have been funny if they had the Fashion Police drafted to SmackDown. It would have been funny to see Eminem show uh, show up. Yeah. Doing their little picture things or whatever, and then you just have the Fashion Police come and be like, "Those fur coats. That's a." Fashion violation. Yeah. And then, um, so, alright, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and for more SmackDown recap, we'll see you then. Bye! Bye.